Good day to everyone, welcome to another video. In this video I'm gonna explain something that may not be clear whenever you watch the process of installing Next Package Manager. So, uh, as I said in, the, in this, this video, I will put it in the cards somewhere around. It may appear to you to the right or to the left, depending on your browser or whatever it is. So you install uh, Next Package Manager from FDroid, which is a free open source alternative that if, if we can say it's a free and open source alternative to Play Store. After you install it, uh, it takes some time of course and then you download and everything. Ignore this thing. Okay. So this is the thing that I wanted to explain because I guess it's not clear enough for many of you and I don't want to keep things not clear. Here after you open it, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna download this file which is the bootstrap installation or stuff like that. Okay, so you wait for, you wait for it, that's it. You don't need to download it. Here I try to download it. And it, I, I did not need to do that, you know why? Because uh, I didn't know first how where to put it. Maybe uh, there is a way to put it in some folders or directories. And the second thing is uh, it's gonna eventually do it. And here I paused the video and finished it there because there was some problem with the connection. So I did not want to lose the progress. And I wanted to split the videos, so you watch the first one on the installation from FDroid, and then you wait for Bootstrap to uh, Bootstrap to install the packages, and then you go to the next step. All right, and then here, probably I didn't tell you that after you install the Bootstrap packages, you will get a prompt that asks you if you want to install the flakes as it's here if you can see my mouse it's here do you want to set it up with flakes and then you wait for it it's gonna download some stuff uh, you need to make sure sometimes uh, it doesn't run on some devices me I had to switch between two devices to be able to install it the first one it kept complaining about some stuff I didn't find the solution for it online so I had to switch to another device and then on the other device I had to install FDroid and then on FDroid I had to look for Nix Android and then when I opened Nix Android it kept downloading the bootstrap things that I showed in, uh, the, uh, in this video you don't need to do anything, all, all you have to do is to keep waiting for it you can keep it in the background and it's gonna download by itself afterwards you gotta confirm here by pressing Y and then after you press Y, you have these comments, you input them, these comments. They are the last thing before having your next package manager ready to go. I, I entered them and I was able to install some packages such as LF, I told about it, HTOP also, as well as uh, new fetch okay so before you reach this thing before you reach this step you keep waiting for your bootstrap files to be downloaded after they're downloaded you're gonna be taken to this screen what you're gonna see what's gonna appear to you on your computer is this screen and that's it after you get the screen appearing on your screen you confirm you wait some time you input these comments that you can see right here I put them in the comments of this video and then your package manager is ready okay I hope it's clear it's quite simple quite straightforward and no need to worry just follow the steps my mistake was not to clarify about the bootstrap files you don't need to download them, they will be downloaded themselves by the next Android package. You wait for it some time, 
for me I had to cut the video because there was some problem in the connection I don't know if it's from me or from the servers and then you just uh, go to the next step as I said here I hope it's clear thank you for watching and see you in another video